is going on guys welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be throwing on a mod i think is gonna be one of the scariest things i've ever put on the car now i've been hesitant about putting this on the car for quite some time because i've been too scared to actually cut into the car now i've never done that before and so this is going to be a very new experience for me but it's going to definitely look gorgeous and awesome all at the same time today as you can see from the title of this video we're going to be throwing on a deck lid on the car now this is going to be a shave deck lid it's not going to have the emblem anymore so as you can see from what the car looks like so this is the original deck lid from the car it has a big nasty huge emblem on it that don't get me wrong it looks cool on certain aspects of the car when you look at it from different angles and so forth but the moment that you like really look deeper into it it just looks very cruddy and just looks very just choppy in my opinion that's just for me and I understand this kind of gives it that classic look that you would see on a Mustang. But for me, I feel like with this generation, this era of a Mustang, that I don't feel like this flows really too well. Now, looking at it more, as you can see, I ended up painting this at some point. It's like all really cracked up here, over in the sides of the warping, and then over in here. It just doesn't really look as good as it could. And now with all that, it's going to be completely erased. And this whole thing is just going to be one flat deck lid, lit all the way across the side. Going into the garage, there is a box. And in that box is instructions that we're not going to need. And probably eventually we will. So let's remember where we put that. And right under those instructions, is bubble wrap and right behind that bubble wrap is another box just kidding the deck lid is over there every single video i make i'm like oh i'm so excited to throw this on the car i've been waiting so long but it's true i'm being completely honest with you guys every single mod i buy for the car i've been waiting for for the longest time and it's not like one of those things where i'm just like oh yeah to hype you guys up and get you guys excited no like for real this is something that is in my mind something i've been planning for a long time it's just a matter of executing and not being scared to do those things and just spend the money and say screw it just buy it i've been having a lot of problems of just wanting to get something saying oh, i'll just wait on it wait on it wait on it and then i just don't end up getting it waiting six months and just buying it out of nowhere when i could have just told myself i could have bought it six months ago so that's kind of why i just said you know what screw it let's buy it forget about it and let's just make it happen and that's exactly what we're doing today To give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison before i throw this on the car because it seems like every time i throw something on the car i forget to show you guys what the original product looked like as you can see we have the normal deck lid on the car that looks very janky and bleh i don't even know how else to describe it, it just looks garbage to me and then you have this nice beautiful one that's going to overlap that and as you can see the gloss is a lot more shiny on the new one than it is on here because this has been repainted because that paint ended up fading on me a while back and so i just had to repaint it just for the meantime i originally had plastic dip on it and the plastic dip really didn't look good at all and it just started fading and just looked very dirty and was hard to clean then it painted a gloss black and then it just looks worse than it did before so that's why we ended up going with the option of getting this there's an option on true fiber that you can actually get this in fiberglass and it was just all white and you can paint it to whatever you want but i knew i learned from my mistakes because i ended up getting the spoiler in the exact same way it was just fiberglass without any paint i think it was plastic fiberglass either or but either way it was very light and i ended up getting it without it getting paint and it ended up just being a complete mess of trying to repaint it three times a year it seemed like and then getting it wrapped and it's just it's a mess so if you ever have the option of getting it painted or anything painted get it painted i'm telling you it will save you a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of money trust me now since you guys see the differences between the original one and the new one let's get started on this install So once you get that out of the way, the next thing you're gonna need to do is use a Torx bit screwdriver thing. I really don't know my tool names whatsoever. I just know where they need to be used for. And to go from there, what you need to do is remove these two screws right here and also right here in order to remove the top deck lid. Now on my car, I don't have any more two side tape that's on the back side of that deck lid. So mine's gonna pop off really easy. You guys, if you haven't taken yours off already, might run into a situation where you actually have to take off this two side tape on the back of it or clips, whatever the case may be. So be careful when you take everything apart on that. But for me, mine's just gonna pop off nice and easy and we're just gonna go from there. I'm not even gonna lie either, because when the moment I took off this deck lid, I think the white actually looks really, really good. It actually flows in a very nice way. Even though that's not the route we're going, I just thought that was kind of cool. I've never really seen my car with the black, white, and black all at the same time. And it just makes it feel like there's a little choppiness to it. Uh, yeah! But it's a nice choppy. It's not, it doesn't flow like how I want it, but all at the same time too, it gives it a different effect that I haven't seen. So I think that's really cool. I'm getting a little bit of jitters in me right now because 
Again, I've never cut into my car before with the exception of maybe under or just normal plastic pieces that you wouldn't really see. But I know you're not gonna see this, but the thing is so is like I'm cutting into like my trunk. And so it's a little nerve wracking all at the same time. Like I'm about to start it, then I stop and I'm about to start it. I'm just like, all right, let's just make this happen. Forget about it. You're not gonna see it no matter what. So it's just, we're just gonna have to pull through. We're just gonna have to do it. Now we got the very stressful, tedious, and hard part out of the way. The next thing we're gonna do is to bird the, all the sides around that hole that we just cut out. And the reason why we're gonna do that is so in case for whatever reason, one day we need to take this off or we're reaching the trunk for whatever reason, we want it to look nice and clean too. And also at the same time too, we wanna make sure if we ever take off the deck lid one day, we're reaching the trunk for whatever reason, we're not cutting ourselves up. next thing we're gonna do is actually clean all this off with the alcohol and the reason why we're gonna be cleaning off with the alcohol is because we're gonna be sticking on these little sticky pads all across all these small little holes including this big one here as well make sure water doesn't get into any of these holes and also at the same time too we don't want to make sure there's any rust or anything that gets on the inside depending on where you live so we're gonna do that right now we're gonna make sure that we clean everything up they did provide an alcohol pad but I'm not using this piece of paper I'm gonna be using an actual 91% isopropyl alcohol Everything is cut, everything is stuck on the car right now with the exception of the deck lid. We went through probably seven blades or seven wheels on that Dremel, which I highly recommend if you do decide to cut this yourself, buy a lot of blades. Cause I'm telling you, I was getting scared that I was gonna run out of blades and I just kept cutting and cutting. The wheel just kept slowly just deteriorating. You could see it and it was just, it was crazy. So make sure you buy a lot of blades. Now we got everything stuck here. As I said, one thing you wanna do is make sure you test it, make sure everything lines up right. I realize with mine, it does have a little bit of a wobble to it because it's just flat compared to this one right here where it's flat, but not as flat as you'd like it to. And so it does have that little bit of wobble to it, but I think that two side tape will be able to balance that out. We're gonna try it out. And I recommend that you throw on another set of two side tape on there. And the reason why is because after all these people that I saw online, I'm doing my homework, doing the reviews on here. And I ended up seeing a lot of people said, use two side tape. Because if you don't use two side tape, the stuff that they gave you on there is really not the best and is very skinny. I'm using another layer around it as well, because I don't think that that little stuff is gonna stick as people said. And I'd rather go off people's recommendations of people who have actually done it than me just trying to do it now. We're gonna stick some two side tape on there and we should be done with this install. All I gotta say is this thing looks awesome. I am so ecstatic on how it looks. And this thing is just, it flows super, super well with the rear end. It makes the taillights really flow and connect with one another. It doesn't feel so choppy all at the same time. This thing, I am just, I can't, I don't have words for it because like I went out of my way to go cut something that I was so uncomfortable with doing, but I knew I was capable of doing it. I was able to do it. And then just seeing the final product and how well it turned out, I am just blown away. And I would just, I 10 out of 10 recommend this. You guys can see this is pretty tight. It's not going anywhere from whenever I pull on it. Now I want, do want to say though, that the original two side tape that was on the deck to begin with was a big fail. If I would have just literally just 
took all the time to go peel that off. It'll take me until next Christmas to be able to take everything off a of seam. Like that stuff was completely stuck on there, but it just did not want to stick to the actual car itself. So we ended up just going ahead and sticking some two side tape over that in some sections because I didn't have enough to be able to cover the entire thing. So we just ended up doing that and it ended up sticking out really, really well. And I'm very happy to see the final product. So again, those reviews that were online are right. Highly recommend sticking some two side tape on there because if you don't, then the thing is just really not going to stick. And the last thing you want to do is have a $233 item fly off on the road and you don't even know where it is. That seems simple. From there, or you get it all scratched and beat the fuck up. So that's the last thing you want to do. Let's get some shots of this. We'll see how it looks like all the way around, and we'll just go from there. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video or even learned anything out of it, leave a like and subscribe down below. This is a part I've been wanting to get for the longest time and I'm so glad I was able to accomplish this and take on a task that I was so uncomfortable with doing. I understand that this is gonna be covered up and no one's even gonna really know if you don't know that you have to cut this part out. But the thing is for me, like cutting into my car that I've never done before, and it was a scary thing you can't undo. So the moment you cut into it, you're in it. You make sure that everything is done right and if you don't do it right, then you're screwed. Again, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'd love to answer them for you guys. If you have any recommendations on future videos or even anything that you'd like to know about the car that I haven't talked about, please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one.